Again, this word came 117 24, 827 a.m. I'm going to read just a little of the beginning to give you an understanding. Like I said, I've been spending time with him. Uh, Daddy God, I am here. In private, I do call him Daddy God. Sometimes. I heard you call out to me to come to you after praying and reading your holy precious word this morning. I love you, Daddy God. I love you. We have a little personal, personal information, which I've been told not to share, but I'll share the other. So after we're praying talking he starts judgment comes upon this world i will refrain no longer oh hear ye people of the earth my witnesses arises they arise in me to full power the time has come it has arrived sound the trumpet gabriel make the announcement loud and clear judgment has fully come and so does with it my two end-time witnesses who speak with the fire of me. I am I am an all-consuming fire. Each are consumed with my holy fire. Sound the trumpet, Gabriel. Sound it loud and clear. Let all heaven and earth know the time of my two witnesses have arrived. Has arrived. Fire shall go before them. Fire shall go behind them. My fire, my holy fire, for I am a God of holiness. My zeal, my righteous zeal for my truth, for my holy ways, I place into each. You have been chosen, handpicked, and created for such a time as this. Arise, my prophets, arise. Be a voice that no one can stop until the appointed time in my timeline of things. Sound the alarm, O kingdom of darkness, for your worst nightmare has come. My son returns as well, not for his bride, for she shall arise beforehand, but with this mighty army, for we will not abandon the remnant few of ours and those still yet to come. Lord Jesus. Arise, O sleepers, this is your last call before you are left behind. Wipe the sleep from your eyes. Get up and prepare yourselves in me. Because if you don't, you will find yourself among those fighting for their lives from the hands of Antichrist. His time has come. His mark arrives fully in just a few short moments of time. Awake, O oh sleeper. I am crying out one more time in answer to those of my faithful children. You have been crying out to me to wake you up. Hear, O oh people of Babylon, the drums of war beating in preparation for your demise. Hear the drums of war, little children, that have erupted all over your world. It's time now. I say it's time. But for Antichrist to fully ascend to full position, so does my two witnesses have to appear. O oh, man of sin, having known by the stars evil div and evil divinations who my two final end-time witnesses are, you have sent wave upon wave, attack upon attack against these two chosen vessels of mine, and I have protected them from it all. If you couldn't, excuse me, if you couldn't defeat, defeat them now because of my protective hand, then know this, O man of sin, you definitely won't stop them as they step publicly out in my name, empowered like none other except my very own son, Jesus Christ, until their allotted 1,260 days has fully expired. It's time, warriors of light of the 144,000, to strap on your holy battle gear. It's time for the battle of the ages, for the lost souls of man to be completed, as the last souls are gathered in from the hands of those who would try to destroy their souls. Many of my remnant shall die. But what is the body 
compared to the eternal soul. Arise, my warriors, arise. Your captain of the host stands ready to lead you in this glorious battle of holy righteousness. But to still be part of this 144,000, you must have your garment spotless white, your mind pure and clean as the mind of my son. Sound the alarm, blast the trumpets. The time is now, O world. It is now. Those who are spiritually dead shall remain spiritually dead if they do not hear this last call to awake before destruction, desolation, famine, chaos, my son's return for his bride, war, darkness, plagues return, calamities, and the man of sin sits on the throne of your world as physical ruler and not only as spiritual. Wake up, O sleeper, for the time is now for you to wake. I will shake your world, and you shall either awake, or for many you shall die while still sleeping. You have been warned, O world. You have been warned, unfaithful bride of my son. You have been warned, man of sin, that you cannot prevent the rising of my two witnesses. You have been warned, warriors of light, to remain pure and undefiled with this world and to strap your battle gear on. Now I'm through warning. Let the judgment fall, my son. Let it fall hard, swift, and heavy upon the wicked world and spare none who does not have your blood applied to their hearts and do it now. And then I heard Jesus say, Yes, Father, I will. Daughter of heaven of mine, you are to share this word with the world. I understand. Do I share it all? Or begin where you are addressing the people of the earth? Little daughter, all is to be shared except the private words I spoke to you, my beloved daughter. I understand. Thank you, Daddy God. I love you. I love you too. Now go. Pray about this. I saw I say, you say, take it before Lord Jesus Christ and you pray about it. Here are the verses. Revelation 11, 3 through 12. Zechariah 4, 11 through 14. Daniel 11, 21 through 24. 32 through 35. Malachi 4, 5 through 6. Jude 14 through 15. There's only one chapter in Jude. Malachi 4 3. 1 Timothy 4 10. Revelation 14 1 through 5. Revelation chapter 12. Revelation 13 verses 5 through 10 and 16 through 18. Now I understand like Malachi. Four, he had five and six and then went back to three he separated them on purpose so just pray about that too so I asked could I run them together he said no 